and welcome to episode five of Dear Die. Um, it's a bit of a recovery week here at the Majestic after our amazing, crazy 30th anniversary celebration last week. So I thought I would take this week to do um, some of your requests and questions. Um, I will get to as many as I can, I promise. I, I should probably go. Okay, I hope you enjoy. Dear Daye, Laura Tan on in, uh, YouTube asked for me to scare some cast members, so I figured, with the help of my accomplices, <laughs> might do a little scaring of the Rodney. <laughs> so we're Allie's there. getting in the rack. <laughs> She's There's hiding herself. Here, here, you do it. Full I got to. Disclosure: gotta, I have done this before. I've got to cover her up. <laughs> How was it? How was your performance? Just now? It's my best work. <laughs> oh no, we've yet to see that. <laughs> I feel it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it's on its way. No, if I'm honest with you, I think it's one of those shows. Yeah? Really? It is one of those <laughs> shows! <laughs> So, quick, quick note about the Rodney scare. Um, his reflexes are incredibly fast, hence the camera turning off. He's, I should learn this. This is my, this is my fault for not paying attention to how fast he is, but my heart was racing. And also, he has a major sweet tooth, so I got him some cookies from Levan Bakery, which is my personal favorite, and I think a lot of people's favorite cookies in New York. So I brought him two cookies afterwards, so he seems to have forgiven me. <laughs> oh, hey guys! Hey! <laughs> We're having a little book club here, reading Sandra Joseph's amazing book. If you want to learn about being Christine, read this book. Um, and I'm here with the wonderful, beautiful, incredible Katie Travis, who many of you may have seen on tour as Christine. Um, and we're going to answer some of your questions, because you had a lot of Christine-type questions. So. Yeah, I love it. Um, so the first question is from Maddis the Phantom. <laughs> sure. uh, what are your must-have items in your dressing room to help you prep as Christine? Ah, so so many things. Okay, here we've got we've got some quercetin bromelain, yes. which is good for immunity. Yes, I take that too. Right? Yes. <laughs> we've got awesome turmeric for allergies, because I've got a lot of allergies in the theater too. Mm -hmm. Here's some more like more turmeric elixir, water, always water, lots of lots of water. Yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just things around. I like a little nasal saline spray to rinse out some stuff. This is probably my favorite entertainer secret. If anybody out there from Entertainer Secret wants to <laughs> sponsor you, <laughs> I'm very happy. Um, basically, the list just goes on and on and on and on. And on. Okay. Kate McRae wants to know what's your favorite song in costume? My favorite song, um, it's super nerdy, but to say Twisted Every Way is my favorite song That's is like the most nerdy. But uh, I think it's. I think it's the most uh, well-written, mm. beautiful, uh, lyrical yeah. section of the show. And it's not really like anything else in the show, yeah. too, which I really like. Yeah, it's like a little segment of Shakespeare or something, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, costume. Um, masquerade costume. I mean, they're a little different, so I had a little right. different costume than the one you use. Mm -hmm. I liked that costume. I like both of them. I think they're, they're yeah. fun. They're cool. Um, I am now kind of filling in for Phantom Broadway, and I have this really cute masquerade costume I love cute. here, so it's it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Camilla Varia, <laughs> with a lot of so A's, <laughs> at the end says, advice for Christine wannabes, audition process, training for the audition, do you need to be a dancer to be Christine? So, well, mm. all, all great questions. Yes. I... I was I danced when I was younger, but I would never call myself a dancer amongst professional dancers. So Same. I would say it's great to have the vocabulary. It's great to train. I wish I was a better dancer, um, but it's not absolutely a requirement. Um, and then um, I would say advice is just just keep training. You know, make sure you. You love it. Um, one of the best pieces of advice I've ever been given was to treat every audition as a performance opportunity. And I think I was able to really do that when I had my final call back here. I was able to stand on the stage at the Majestic, which was so cool, mm -hmm. um, and like sing for Hal Prince and sing Think of Me in a way that, you know, brought me joy and happiness because I got to sing the song 
that I love. Um, and also persistence, because I've been auditioning for this part for just about 10 years. So if you love it, don't give up on it. And also, you know, keep learning, learning and training and um, read this book, guys, because it looks yeah, it's really good. This is awesome. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs> Dear Daye, I am here with the amazing Kara Klein. I know we've gotten a lot of requests from wannabe Megs out there and fans of this incredible woman. She not only dances beautifully on point, sings beautifully, acts beautifully, is beautiful, but she also <laughs> has two amazing kids at home. So literally, whenever I want to whine about being tired, I think, <laughs> what would Kara Klein do right now? I would cry. <laughs> so we are going to take talk some bloopers stories. You want to yes. start with your favorites? Okay. This one involved Ali and I, <laughs> and... Um, I don't even know how to describe this. Like, it's something you can't reenact. It could so never happen again. Okay, so okay, so after I start Think of Me, I, you know, like, the music swells, I run back, and Kara's job is to rip this thing off of the front of me that it's called, it's called a crotch tiara. <laughs> it's like literally a crown it's, with it's, it goes like right here so and so that I can get my skirt on. And so one night, we run... Oh, or I back up, and she runs across, and all of a sudden, she's on the ground. <laughs> Literally feet up in the air, on my butt. <laughs> and then the wardrobe mistress, she, this is a quick change yeah. into her Think of Me skirt, wraps the skirt around her. I'm on the ground, <laughs> <She's> underneath, <laughs> underneath her skirt. I'm like, are I'm you like what the hell? What's happening down there? Like, and it happened so fast, and somehow I ended up back up on my feet, and yeah. we did the quick change yeah. in time. Yeah. Now, the reason I fell, this is good. So Bouquet, during Hannibal, he comes out and does his little scene. Sometimes the guys... And just be really gross and, like, smell bad and, like... They like to drool, yeah. and some drops onto the stage. Well, believe it or not, I slipped on Bouquet's spit. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, steel stage, and wet Rubber things, on a point shoes. Like, <laughs> like, oh. yep. Anyways, that was... That was yeah, that was probably the movie. grossest blooper ever, but also like, um, like what are the chances? Right, right. That, like this little dollop. So you know, be careful when you spit on stage. Be careful, folks. yeah. Um, <laughs> my fa honestly, the spit one was one of my favorites. But also, I mean, I've fallen down like completely. I grabbed the mask once. I ran. The stage was wet, and I wiped out right by the portcullis. And I got up, and I was like, No, no, no! I'm fine. I'm fine. Keep running. Keep running. <laughs> and then I would like fall again where I'm supposed to fall, and I like did it really hard to make it seem like it was on purpose. And then um, and I handed the mask back, and I got off stage. And everyone was like, Are you okay? Are you okay? I was like, Oh, I'm totally fine. And I looked at my hand, and there was like blood. blood. Oh my hand. There was blood on his mask. There was blood on my face. Oh my gosh. Shame. I was gonna say Oops. bloopers are always fun and funny until, until somebody I'm gets hurt. Exactly. But that's yeah, that's not good. Um, it was okay. It was it was a my it was a flesh wound. <laughs> okay. Thanks for visiting. You're welcome. Well, thanks for time. having me. Bye. So somebody just got a haircut and she wanted to show it off because she looks so pretty. Don't you? Don't you? She also likes this ball. Okay. Her haircuts cost a lot more money than mine. Okay, so hear me out. I think I have a guy for you. He's a scholar, an architect, and a musician. He's just, he's a little unconventional. I mean, he's a murderer and he's like kind of missing half his face, but that doesn't bother you, right? Okay, good. Um, I just feel like I probably shouldn't tell Christy because, you know, I know Allie? she's a little... Hey! What are you doing here? Oh, just, just, um, just, just hanging out. Waiting for my turn in the back with massager. Hanging out with Anya? Yeah, we're, we're buds, isn't that cool? I didn't know you invited Ali to hang out with you, Anya. I thought we had this talk. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you are here, yeah, Ali! Yay! Oh, you know, I didn't get the chance to see you after the show, but I saw you on your 30th anniversary of Phantom of the Opera oh. performance, and you were unbelievable, Thank and you. I just feel so grateful that we are neighbors. I know, right? Next and I got to see your actors fun, and I didn't get to see you after that, and you were uh, so good. We go way back. We have history. We have been, well, we've been auditioning for a very yeah. long time, yeah. and we've been friends for, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. So... You're in Phantom of the Opera, which is basically about an angel. Yes. <laughs> or or more more likely a ghost, right? Yeah. That's that's haunting the theater. Yeah. So have you 
ever been in a theater that it, you felt was potentially haunted? And is it your theater? The Majestic is super haunted. Is it really? I I just learned this recently. I mean, I've been hearing about like the haunting, but there's a mm -hmm. there's a ghost that they call Brown Pants because it's a guy who wears brown pants and people see him all over. And actually when I was shooting backstage, there was like constantly like an orb, but just in like the downstairs staircase where like everybody says they see him. Are <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> I did not think that this was like gonna really be a real response. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and there was one, so one of our um, our ladies that worked in the hair room was trying to do like, you know, like a Snapchat thing where she was like catching her face and she was down in that same stairwell and it kept like picking on a face that was behind her, but there was <gasps> brown pants. Brown I'm going to pants. do some more investigation. Wait, what happened to Creepy Anya? Isn't she over the... Uh, Creepy Anya? So Peter has played Chris in Miss Saigon before, and I have never been in Miss Saigon, so it got us to thinking. In a place that won't let us feel In a life where nothing seems real I have found you I have found you Our lives will change when tomorrow comes Tonight our hearts drown the distant drums And, and we got music alright Tearing all night The song Played on a solo saxophone A crazy sound A lonely sound A cry that tells us love goes on and on Played on a solo saxophone It's telling me to hold you tight And dance like it's the last night of the Hi guys, so I was going to do a thing where I watched your awesome phantom ukulele challenge videos, but the internet... Ooh, can you see that? Yep, there's nothing! Because the internet doesn't want to work right now. But don't worry, we have watched them, we will watch them, we'll watch them on here. Keep sending them in, because um, they're amazing and you guys are amazing. And someday my phone will help me out. Till we find our place On a path unwinding In the circle The circle of life <laughs> This is my amazing friend Jelani Remy. You have to watch his vlog, The Pride of Broadway Signing out episode 5, see you next week! <laughs>